This video demonstrates the assembly of a Siemens NUPEX coupling type A. The same process applies regardless of the coupling size. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Refer to the official Siemens operating manual for proper handling instructions. Before starting the assembly process, make sure the shafts are clean and free of any debris. Damages on the shafts and key will prevent the proper mounting of the coupling. Make certain that all surfaces and edges are smooth and properly prepared for the assembly. Coat the shaft surfaces with molybdenum sulfide assembly paste, which is applied for most assembly processes. This material aids in preventing fretting corrosion and makes a disassembly of the coupling much easier. In addition to the shaft, make sure the coupling bores, keyways and edges are clean and free of any damages. Finished board couplings are provided with the appropriate size set screws already installed. You will need to back the set screw out far enough so that it does not extend into the coupling's keyway and interfere with the key or shaft during the assembly. It is also possible to completely remove the set screw. If you remove it, make sure to place the set screw in a safe place that is easily accessible for when you need to replace it. It is generally recommended that the NUPEX coupling should be supplied with a transitional or interference fit, depending on the application. Heating the hubs will expand the bore size, which will facilitate the assembly. Use a heater or oven intended for this purpose and check the operating instructions to determine the proper temperature the hub should reach before you attempt to assemble it on the shaft. While wearing the appropriate safety equipment, carefully position the heated hub on the shaft. Slide it into place, making sure the final resting position has the end of the shaft flush with the surface of the hub. The standard flexible elements are made of perbunin and therefore sensitive to heat. If the hub will be heated beyond 100 degrees centigrade or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, make sure the elements are removed from the hub before it is heated. Please note that other flexible elements have different temperature limits. The second hub should be heated like the previous one. Depending on the fit, the heating temperature can be different. Using the proper safety equipment, again position the heated hub on the shaft. Slide into place, once more making sure the final resting position has the end of the shaft flush with the surface of the hub. If the set screws were removed, reinsert and tighten them by hand. An appropriate torque wrench should be used to tighten the set screws to the recommended torque. You can find a list of the recommended settings in the operating manual. After the coupling cools down enough, it is time to insert the flexible elements. Always use new flexible elements when putting a coupling into service. Never combine old with new flexible elements. This is necessary to ensure an even load distribution and therefore a long lifetime. Also note the elements are molded to match the curve of the coupling. Therefore be sure to insert the elements the right way round. Move one of the machines needing to be connected towards the other. The cams have to be aligned to fit between the flexible elements. NUPEX couplings are designed to be aligned easily. Simply place a straight edge across both hubs and make any corrections to align the connected equipment. The straight edge has to be in full contact across both hubs. Repeat this process at several positions around the coupling diameter. This will ensure a proper angular and radial alignment. The axial alignment can be easily verified using a feeler gauge. Refer to the operating instructions for correct clearance. Check this dimension using the gauge at several positions around the diameter of the coupling. 
we suggest aligning the drive to reach the average S dimension. Tighten the screws on the connected units to their specifications. Your coupling is now properly aligned and ready for operation. The application of the wear indicator will give you an invaluable maintenance advantage to check for flexible element wear while the coupling is still in operation. It is no longer required to stop the operation of your equipment. Apply the wear sticker according to the instructions. Then, while the drive is still in operation, you'll be able to use a strobe light to actually see how much the elements have worn and know when to replace them. This video demonstrates how to replace the flexible elements for a Siemens NUPEX coupling type A. The same process applies regardless of the coupling size. While manually twisting the drive shaft, with respect to the driven shaft, the wear indicator will show the state of wear of the flexible elements. You will be able to gain easy access to the flexible elements by removing the bolts and pulling back part 3, the ring. The main advantage of the wear indicator is to detect the wear status of the flexible elements while the drive is still in operation. Use a strobe light to clearly show the status. This will enable you to plan an exchange of the elements and prevent unexpected downtime. Loosen and remove the bolts between the hub, part 2, and the ring, part 3. A suitable lever tool should be used to separate the two coupling parts. Once they've come apart, use your hands to completely pull back the ring out of the way. Turn the hub in order to locate the elements in the area between the raised section of the hub, where the bolts are inserted. Then, using a screwdriver for example, remove the flexible elements one at a time. After all flexible elements have been exchanged and the coupling hub has been cleaned of any rubber residue, it is time to insert the new flexible elements. Please note that the elements are molded to match the curve of the coupling. Therefore, be sure to properly align the flexible elements as you insert them one after the other into the coupling hub. Always use a new set of flexible elements for the coupling. Never combine old with new flexible elements. This is necessary to ensure an even load distribution and therefore a longer service life. After replacing the last element, you are ready to reassemble the coupling. Use the wear indicator to position the two halves. The arrow should be pointing in the original position. Begin to insert the fingers of the ring between the flexible elements. It will be necessary to apply even pressure across the surface of the ring. This will ensure the fingers slide evenly into the gap and completely around the entire diameter of the coupling. Replace the bolts and fasten them finger tight. An appropriate torque wrench should be used to tighten the bolts to the recommended torque. The recommended tightening torques are listed in the operating instructions. Do not use lubricants on the threaded surfaces, as it will affect the friction values. Make sure the coupling halves are secure. If the drive components have not been moved during the process, it is not necessary to realign the coupling. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Refer to the official Siemens operating manual for proper handling instructions.